Yes, the jobs report is out. August non-farm payrolls increase a minuscule 235,000. 235,000, you heard me right. And if you look at private payrolls, they were up 243,000. Change in manufacturing, up 37,000. The unemployment rate had a drop of two-tenths of 1% to 5.2, a post-COVID low. If we look at average hourly earnings, zoom, zoom, zoom. Boy, you can go back in history. There's not a lot of up six-tenths of 1% month over month, up 43 on earnings year over year. And if we look at the average weekly hours, 34.7 is a bit light. That's one-tenth lighter than rearview mirror and one-tenth lighter than we were expecting. If you look at the labor force participation rate, 61.7 again. We've had several of these post-COVID. That is the post-COVID low, but over several occasions, just to refresh your memory, 63.3 was February of 2020 pre-COVID, and U6, the underemployment rate, a new post-COVID low at 8.8. Pre-COVID, February 2020, it was 7%. The moves in the market, interest rates are going down just a bit. It's a big disappointment. And if all you can think about is substantial further progress, most likely this gives the Fed ground cover to potentially not announce the taper as aggressively, but only time will tell. The panel, what do you think?